welcome to the Calf Eid podcast and videos and today I'm going to do the A to Z of the old world and we're doing astronomical and meteorological phenomena and I found this to be particularly interesting because I'm very interested in looking at the skies um, or the contrails or chemtrails whichever side of the argument you're on I suppose there's chemtrails and contrails and all sorts of things. There's probably both. Um, so I'm, I've noticed some really interesting skies. I think I've definitely spotted this one, number six, which is called Cairo Cumulus. And I've definitely seen number nine, which is strat Stratocumulus. Um, and I just found this one to be particularly interesting. I've probably seen that as well. Um, number seven, Alto Cumulus. And um, number four, uh, Cyrus or Cyrus and the reason why I'm interested in this in particular is because obviously um, when you see these sorts of skies written up in 1914 um, <clears throat> then you know that um, these skies have been around for over a hundred years and um, they may look bizarre and strange and one of the things which I um, am trying to write about in my books, and you can find the links in the description below for the current one which is out, it, um, this one doesn't cover my curiosity about this, but um, having worked in law, I do know that patents are do exist but they haven't been used. And I'll show that that's the case in a future video. Um, just because they exist doesn't mean that the idea works and it doesn't even mean that the idea has put, been put into action. Um, patents really don't mean that much at all um, for, for some things. And um, in the conspiracy realm of society, there is a claim that if the patent exists, if the patent exists, then the um, action behind it also exists, or is intended to. And it could be that it's intended to exist, but it doesn't mean that it exists already. And the reason why I mention that now is because there's patents about skies and um, all sorts of technology which can create um, different skies. Now, it's also the case that it could exist and that those sorts of things are explain skies um, from 1914. But... Um, I'm more inclined to think that these sorts of skies have existed for a long time just because you also see these sorts of skies in paintings as well. So I don't know. Uh, I, I found this one to be very, very interesting because I uh, love looking at these sorts of things. So let's see if we can uh, get better images of each sky. Um, number one, I don't know what number one is, Hawley's Comet, 1910. Now this, this is an American dictionary, by the way, from, two, uh, from 1914, so um, these are American places. Number two, uh, diagram showing magnitude of some comets as compared with the Earth and the Moon's orbit. Right, okay. So they were globies back in 1914. 
that's that's not a picture of a flat earth is it um number three um i can't see where number three is oh oh holly's comet again number four I've definitely seen those sorts of skies okay i've definitely seen skies like 15 which is um well it doesn't say here but fracto cumulus Isn't it interesting that we've got so many um, comets here? I've never seen a comet, I don't think. Or I, if I have, um, I've seen some weird lights moving in very sort of angled ways. And apparently that's the uh, space station. I don't know. And then a bit more here. The network nebula in Cyprus. I think that's Cyprus. I can't read it. The Great Nebula in Andromeda. The Great Nebula or in Orion. Right, okay. So these are um, I don't think that they are um, photographs. I think they are um, drawings. So, interesting. Anyway, um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Um, I found this particularly interesting because I do follow channels who talk about um, the uh, chemtrails and contrails or chemtrails. <laughs> and um i am interested in that idea and i am open to that idea because i i um don't particularly trust the government but um i'm i'm also very interested in the historical interpretation of these skies and everything so yeah, I, I'm I'm really glad in particular about this page. Um that's confused me now. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um yeah, your thoughts. Comment and uh share this the A to Z of Astro World. Thanks, please like, subscribe, mm -hmm. goodbye.